Hello, Abraham. It's nice to feel you again. On the land cruise in Cancun, I think that the biggest thing I took away from our interaction was the feeling of sitting here and really truly feeling this sense of well-being in an amplified state. There's a lot more that happens in a room like this than words and hearing them. Most of what is happening is happening vibrationally. So as we focus together and chew over subjects, resistance lessens and vibration rises and you click in with more of who you are. And that's that feeling that you're describing. Some people call it oneness or wholeness. We call it clarity, connectivity, alignment. What do you want to talk about? So when I was in the hot seat in Cancun, you basically told me to get out of my head and to pick something. Those are the two things that I really remember and I haven't gotten the recording yet, so I haven't heard the rest, but it's the feeling in those two things. And so I've spent some time thinking about it. <laughs> I've also spent some time really trying to tap into that feeling again. Well, that's where you started just now. And that's really the right track. In other words, it is the feeling, isn't it? Can you sense the difference between a feeling of abundance, a feeling of abundance, a feeling of abundance. That's what Esther provided for herself that day because she was focusing upon specific things like the beautiful pool and house, which made her feel abundant, but it went beyond the word abundant. It went to a feeling of being blessed and cared for, which then translated into a feeling of worthiness. And it's that sense of well being that is just the perfect vibration that causes the feeling but it's the vibration that equals the point of attraction where it's like you've taken all your guard down and now the well-being of all manner that's raining down on you can be received by you can be recognized by you can be witnessed by you step by step by step by step not saved up in some vibrational reality and then you live a little in and a little in it's just a constant streaming of clarity and fun and ideas and well-being and money and friends and flow yeah and so it's interesting that you bring up the subject of abundance because it's kind of the theme of what I wanted to talk to you about today. And it's not that rare. <laughs> <laughs> and there's part of me that's saying, why am I even asking this question? Because I've listened to you for so many hours and, and so often, and I have such a great deal of clarity in my head, but I, it, I'm in, I'm in a situation like where the way this conversation is going, because you're pinpointing, you can feel where the resistance is on your trail. You can feel where the blockage is too strong of word, but you can feel what's tripping you up and what's tripping you up is the difference between the thought and the feeling. And so we've been talking for a long time about how your emotion follows the thought emotion follows the thought. So you think a thought and then you have an emotional response to that thought. But somewhere along the way, there was a smaller thought where you had more choices. We're going to give a hypothetical that isn't accurate. It isn't accurate to you, but for the sake of understanding this. So let's say that you, for whatever reason, stopped working. And so the money that's been coming in isn't coming in and hasn't for a while. And so you've depleted your savings and you've maxed out all your credit cards. And so now you're at the end of any leeway or latitude or any sense of freedom. And now things have become quite critical because now bills are coming and people are calling and the pressure is really on and you're feeling it in a strong way and your feeling of freedom is all but gone and your feeling of tension and worry is what you're feeling most of the time so this is a momentum that's been going on for a while in this example and so now we say well just think a happy thought and you think give me a break there's no possible way that I can think a happy thought under these conditions the momentum is such that the universe is not dishing up to me anything other than worrisome thoughts so if I'm gonna think about this and I probably am then they're gonna be worrisome thoughts to which I'm going to have an emotional response. That's why we call them worrisome thoughts. It's thoughts of worry, maybe even panic. Maybe I'm not even sleeping at night. So thought and emotion all running really close together. So 
then you come to someone who's wanting to teach you about getting hold of your vibration and getting hold of the way you're thinking and getting hold of the way you're feeling and we say oh just get into the receptive mode and you think okay I'd like to be in the receptive mode but meanwhile this is what I'm feeling about this and everywhere I go more conditions show themselves to me every day all day things come up that enhance this receptive mode down here how do I break this cycle how do I get into something that feels better and we say first of all you've got to change the subject because this subject already has so much established momentum and even though you went to bed and your momentum stopped when you woke up the bills are still there and somebody else may still be worrying with you and the conditions are all around you and so it would be freakishly odd for someone to say to you just don't think about it and in some ways you might say that's how I got myself into this mess to begin with I wasn't tending to what I needed to tend to and so now I've got to face the music how do I get myself out of this how do I get out ahead of it feeling wise and we say all right you have to start at the beginning of this first you have to acknowledge that you are a vibrational being do you in other words we're going really general and that the universe is responding to your vibration so you might say yes and then you might say yes but the universe is responding to my vibration and I'm really worried about this and so the universe is giving me more how do I break that cycle so we say we've got to change the subject and then you argue for your limitations more by saying I can't change the subject because money is tied to almost everything it's tied to what I eat and it's tied to where I live and it's tied to who I hang out with really it's tied to so many things how do I not think about that and we say by thinking about something else and you say yes but law of attraction is only dishing those things up and we say all right you got to pay attention to what the universe is yielding to you through your path of least resistance and this is what we really want you to hear remember your inner being knows where you are financially and your inner being knows where you are in terms of your vortex abundance and your inner being knows how to bring you from one to the other so your inner being knows what things are worrying you the most your inner being knows what your path of least resistance is and you can't you're not this good any of you at focusing doggedly on only one thing your greatest gift is that you are fickle your greatest gift is that there are so many things that you could think about and so many things that are asking for your attention so it is for sure that today something is going to catch your attention that is off that subject and your inner being is aware not only of what those subjects are but of the timing of those subjects so it's like your inner being is saying it is not literally like this but it is accurate for us to tell you this story in this way it would be like your inner being and other inner beings cooperative components having a conversation about you and the conversation would go something like this he's looking for abundance and there's so much lined up for him but he can't find it because he's all twirled up in that and that and that so let's watch for an opportunity when he least suspects it his cork is accidentally going to bob for a minute because he doesn't have the ability to stay focused on anything all day so be aware that his cork is going to bob and when it does fill that gap with thoughts that match that now if you have done only one small thing which is to say I'm going to watch for opportunities to feel good and when you accidentally aren't doing that thing you do that's holding your cork under the water and you are bob 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 bobbing up here on the surface <laughs> you are going to feel the difference for just a moment if you have the acuity to run with that just a little bit but most important you don't have to run very far with it just notice ah, that breath of fresh air and maybe even an idea because your inner being and all inner beings are really pouring the juice on in other words you're in a moment of less or no resistance and so ideas are being presented to you and you just might receive one of them even if you don't receive the idea you're going to feel an amplified feeling of freedom of feeling better and your vibration is going to have changed a little bit which means your point of attraction has shifted which means the worrisome thoughts have to be less because your vibration has shifted you see so eventually you can stay off the subject there is so much abundance that you don't have to pay for Tracy was with Esther 
on her birthday the other day with the kids and they were astonishingly playful all of them it was a day that had been set aside to play and everyone was feeling playful and Tracy said many many times this is my favorite birthday ever 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 and Esther was thinking this is her favorite birthday ever this is her favorite birthday ever and then Tracy said Ooh, maybe we'll see a rainbow they didn't <laughs> but at the end of the day so many people posted rainbows over her house on her Facebook page Tracy was not where the rainbow was but her house was and it was a double rainbow stayed over her house all afternoon rainbow 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 that is abundance you can't buy that kind of abundance you can't pay for that stuff you pay for it with your this is my happiest day ever this is my happiest day ever you pay for it with your appreciation you see what we're getting at abundance comes to you through your vibrational payments and your vibrational payments just mean your attention to things that feel good and before you know it you've distracted yourself enough from what's bothering you that you're not in the vibration of worry you might be if you focus back on your checkbook but you're not in the vibration of worry and why would you spoil that run of momentum and now you are a different person standing in a different place now your inner being who knows where you stand financially in relationship to where you want to stand financially knows that you're in an entirely different place and now it will be easier and easier and easier and easier and easier to call you into the frequency that puts you in the timing of the idea or 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 how do thoughts turn to things this is the thing that we want you to ask yourselves on a really regular basis how do thoughts turn to things they turn to things because law of attraction causes momentum to get strong enough that they actually become a reality so you have a choice about what thoughts you're allowing to turn to things because you have a choice about what thoughts you think but then you say no I don't have a choice about what thoughts I think about this and then we say well then think about something else and as you take your airtime away from that and put it on something else the balance will shift until before you know it and we're not kidding whatever the subject of your desire is it can vibrate in the place you can be in the receptive mode about anything that you want and once you turn that corner so to speak so that your expectation is that the universe is yielding to you you'll get those shivers of recognition when you realize that you received an impulse and you followed through on it and look what it yielded to you because the universe is yielding to you all day every day you have no idea how much yield is flowing in your direction how much abundance is being offered to you is being yielded to you but you're not letting it in because you've got all these stupid things that you think about that don't let it in was that helpful yeah. don't try to do it all at once and most often you bring the subject that is the most problematic and that's the one you want to talk about well the subjects that you're worried the most about are the subjects that you are floating your cork the least about so just remember let's say you got 10 subjects so you got 10 subjects that you could potentially float your cork on which means 10 subjects that you could either not worry about or worry about and let's say that nine of them you worry all the time one two three four five six nine subjects you worry about all the time but there's one subject that you don't worry about focus on it let the one subject that you don't worry about be your cork floating subject and if you focus on it long enough pretty soon by your lack of attention to the other subjects they'll start floating they'll start floating all of a sudden there's all these corks bobbing up here and you say where'd you all come from where'd you all come from we've come up to join you in your chronic vibration everything that you want we're up here joining you in the vibration where you are you see helpful